Hi, third and fourth grade. This is your video today. Today we're going to talk about a tricky sound. I know it's some that my groups have been struggling with, so it's just a good reminder to go over this sound. So let's get started. Here we go. Okay, today we're going to talk about when the A comes after the word. When the A comes after the word, such as in the word watch, the A usually says the A sound. But when it comes after the W, it says the ah sound, like A-W, like ah, when the doctor tells you to open your mouth. Okay, so if you have an A after a W, it says the ah sound. What does it say? It says the ah sound. You're right. Okay, here we go. Let's get started. You're going to tell me the sound and then you're going to tell me the word. I'll do the first three with you and then you'll be on your own. Okay, here we go. Get ready. Sound, ah, word, watch. Because we don't say watch. What's a watch? I don't wear a watch. I wear a watch. Okay, next one. Sound, ah, word, wad. I don't chew on a wad of gum. I have a wad of gum in my mouth. The next one. Sound, ah, word, wander. We don't wander somewhere. What is that? I have no clue. We wander or we go off and go away. Okay, your turn. You got this. Here we go. Sound, ah, word, want. Yes, want. Sound, ah, word, wand. Yes, wand. Sound, word, wallet. It's not a wallet. It's a wallet. All right, a wallet is what you keep your money in. Sound, word, yes, water. Sound, word, yes, wash. Sound, word, yes, swab. It's not a swab. We don't swab our scabs. We swab them. Sound, word, swat. Sound, word, swallow. Yes, swallow. Sound, word, yes, swamp. So remember that when the A comes after the W, it says the ah sound, like ah, like as in w Osh. We don't say wash. I want to wash my hands. No, I have to wash my hands. So A after the W says the ah sound. Okay, friends, hopefully you're reading your 20 minutes a day, but I just have some reading reminders for you or reading strategies to keep in mind when you are reading your stories or your, or your schoolwork that your teachers are giving you. The reading strategies that I have is always remember to two-finger track. Two-finger track helps you. Remember two-finger track, you have one finger here and you have one finger following underneath of the words. And when you got done here, what do you do? That's right, both of them go here. One stays here and the other one tracks underneath of the words that you're reading. Very good. The other thing that I tell my students is that if you make a mistake, always go back to the beginning of the sentence and start over. This is to help you so that you don't get the wrong information, but you can read the sentence in your mind with the right information. And it helps you with remembering your story. The next one, always reread. If you're trying to find an answer and you can't find that answer, it's okay to go back and reread. Or if you don't know what you just read, go back and reread it. I do that all the time. The next one is to use your context clues. Look for what it's telling you. What is it saying? Use those clues to help you. The next one is make connections. As you're reading this story that you're going through in your mind, make connections. Well, I, when I was little, I did this. Or I wonder if this character is going to do this. Make those connections. Text to self, text to world. Okay, make those text to text connections. The next one is visualize. Have a picture in your mind. As you're reading, it makes it more enjoyable to have a picture in your mind, okay? Now, who knows? It's just a book. You, that's what the fun part of reading is, is you can create that visual in your mind. And the last one is to identify the purpose for the story, the author's purpose. Why are they writing it? Persuade, entertain, inform. 
And also to find the main idea. What is the story mostly about? And then to find the theme of the story. So these are just some good reading strategies that I hope you're practicing when you're reading. All right, friends. Until we meet tomorrow. Bye.